Tonight, friends and family of a Warwick murder victim are calling for answers. It's been more than a month, two months rather, since Jack Fay's body was found in Warwick City Park. And tonight, nearly 200 concerned residents showed up for a candlelight vigil held not far from the crime scene. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer was at this evening's vigil. She joins us from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in Warwick with, with the new details at 11. The family called tonight's vigil justice for Jack Fay. They say they are grateful for the community's support, but they want to find who killed him. Nearly 200 family and friends came to Warwick City Park Saturday evening for a candlelight vigil to remember John Jack Fay, who was killed while running in the park May 17th and whose murder remains unsolved. It was a twofold thing to honor his memory, to try to get it out there that it remains unsolved. Megan Fay says her father's death is an act of senseless violence. She says her dad ran twice around the park every morning, and sadly, she no longer feels safe in it. For me personally, I don't feel comfortable coming into a park by myself anymore. Fay's body was found stuffed in a trash barrel nearly 30 hours after he was killed. He died of blunt force trauma. Police detectives attended the vigil to support the family. Colonel Stephen McCartney says they have some leads and say this is not a cold case. We were able to uh, collect a great deal of physical evidence and uh, we're hopeful that that physical evidence will pay off uh, because we will work this case until we solve it. Jerry Fay flew in from Washington State to share memories of his older brother who he says loved solving math problems. We want people to understand that my brother was not um, just a person found in a trash can, that he was a wonderful person, he had a wonderful life, he had great children, he had a brother who loved him, and um, that we miss him terribly. The day after his brother was killed, Jerry Fay says they found high-level math problems that he was working on in his home. Police are asking anyone with information about this murder to give Warwick Police a call. Reporting with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shara, Eyewitness News.